Well, I think there always comes a time when the, the person that was under the wings starts to surpass the person that is teaching. And I think we're at that level now where Jay no longer sees me as his student. He sees me as an equal. And now that I am Ring of Honor World Champion, he sees me as competition. This is, to me, the most prestigious prize in wrestling today. And anybody on any roster would want this belt, and I believe Jay now wants it again. Now that Ring of Honor is underneath the AEW umbrella, honor lives on. And up under this new banner, I feel that people want to be the center of attention because all eyes right now are on Ring of Honor. And that's what Jay wants. It's pretty simple. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Oh. Nick. Nick. Okay. Um, should we put my yeah. yeah. Sure. We'll get it to you, Nick. I was about to say. Break protocol. Sure. Okay, man. Thank you. Uh, kind of a question for both of you. Um, it was definitely something I noticed tonight uh, with Wheeler and Joe that uh, the announcements on Twitter you made, Tony, were also AEW announcements um, on a Ring of Honor night. Now, Jonathan, are you interested? in bringing the title to AEW to defend it? Do you want to keep it in the company? And Tony, are you looking to mingle Jonathan in that title into AEW, or do you want to keep Jonathan separate? If I may, no, I definitely would love to have Jonathan defend the title in AEW and on AEW programming, and I think that's definitely something possible, and Jonathan's traveled the world, and uh, he can tell you better than anybody, I think, about his vast experiences wrestling and all the championships he's held and all the promotions around the world. So I'm excited for him to defend the championship in AEW, on Dynamite, on Rampage, on lots of our great programming. And also, I think there are a lot of great relationships that we have with other companies and, and relationships Jonathan has with companies. And I think uh, there's a lot of exciting possibilities, both in AEW and through the Forbidden Door. Great. And... Uh, and well, for me, um, it would be an honor to take Ring of Honor to national television. The funny thing is, is my life has been somewhat of a Cinderella story. I grew up in wrestling, idolizing the men and women that worked for Ring of Honor, uh, and my passion grew. It got me out of a lot of trouble. I wouldn't be standing or sitting next to Tony Khan right now if it wasn't for Ring of Honor. Uh, and my goal was always to be Ring of Honor World Champion. I never told anybody when I worked. <laughs> night and day to get exactly where I am today. And my goal along the way was to make sure that Ring of Honor lives on. And I want to take the idea, the essence, and the heart and soul of Ring of Honor to everybody around the world. And now that Tony Khan has acquired Ring of Honor, I can now do that. Um, I really appreciate the passion that he has for professional wrestling and the passion that he has for Ring of Honor. If it wasn't for Tony Khan, Honor would have died. And now, I can stick with the company that I have fallen in love with all these years ago. And I don't have to wave another flag ever besides the Ring of Honor flag. Right here, Sean. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful. I spoke to you, I think it was like in October, we were talking about the first Terminus. And even back then, right after the initial ROH hiatus announcement happened, you said, it's important to me to stick this out and see what happens with Ring of Honor. Nobody could have known what was going to happen with Ring of Honor. And I'm sure there were some really uncertain, maybe even scary times there. Like, can you maybe recount some of those and then how you felt when you heard that Tony bought ROH? So for me, I, like I told you, my, my, my life has been sort of a Cinderella story. And uh, this voice in my mind has always guided me. And I learned a long time ago to listen to this voice. Again, I wouldn't be here sitting next to Tony Khan if it wasn't for this voice that I like to call my destiny. And uh, when I heard that Ring of Honor was going on hiatus, I remember Lethal calling me after the meeting was over and he said to me, I'm really upset with you. And I said, why? He goes, because on the Zoom call, you were the most calm person. It's because my destiny was talking to me. This is not a, a gimmick, this is real life for me. And my destiny was talking to me and it was telling me that everything was gonna be okay. I had no clue what was gonna happen, but I, I knew I had to keep honor alive. So I, I went around the world defending the Ring of Honor World Championship because I truly felt that something was gonna happen. And I was on tour in Ireland in my hotel room taking a nap, and I get a phone call from Bandito, and he tells me, hey, amigo, 
do you know what's going on? I said, no, bro, I do not. And he tells me that Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor. And that's when it hit me. My destiny was right. Honor will live on. And so I just keep <laughs> listening to this, this voice in my mind that has never steered me wrong. And I'm so very happy that the people after me, the next generation, will get a chance to enjoy Ring of Honor, but now on a bigger stage, on national television, hopefully. And um, I just want what happened to me to happen to other people. Uh, and just this company, the men that fought for this belt, the fingerprints that won this championship. It just means so much to me. So I, I, I want to thank you. I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for buying Ring of Honor and keeping it alive. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Adam? Adam Wilborn, World Culture Wrestling. You talked about idolizing Ring of Honor and in the video package before the match, talking about the original ROH world title, one of the first faces we saw was Samoa Joe, if not the first. So your reaction to him being back in Ring of Honor and Tony, your reaction to having him in All Elite Wrestling as well. Well, uh, you know, I think I'm very excited to have Samoa Joe in both Ring of Honor and All Elite Wrestling. Uh, I thought his timing was impeccable, uh, and uh, I'm sure the champ agrees. Uh, but I'm very excited, and uh, uh, you know, we're, we're going to hear from him uh, shortly, actually. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, I think you'll get to hear from uh, him as well. But uh, I know I'm very excited about having Samoa Joe in AEW. Samoa Joe is going to be on Dynamite on Wednesday. And it was great to have him here at Supercard, and I thought it made a great night of great wrestling, even a bit more special. And it was a really cool moment to see Samoa Joe in the ring, I think with Jonathan Gresham and uh, Lee Moriarty, uh, you know, a few different generations of great wrestlers and great Ring of Honor stars, and all uh, people that potentially could be competing also in AEW. And uh, very excited about a great championship match to end a great pay-per-view tonight at Supercard. Uh, for me, I'm just very excited from the locker room to the people that are making special appearances tonight, like Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels is in this locker room, uh, uh, Jay Lethal is here, BJ Whitmer is here, and to me, uh, when I became conscious of how wrestling can be, and in my mind how wrestling should be, I called these men, these great men, the originals, um, and they still possessed the fire and the, and, and the spirit of what I believe wrestling was built upon, and having them here in this company to teach the next generation, to help us understand how to be pro wrestling uh, means the world to me. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I'm very happy these guys are coming back to uh, an umbrella that has someone that cares so passionately about the sports and the essence of this business. Um, Tony Khan and Samoa Joe and Brian Danielson, all these guys are keeping the business of pro wrestling alive, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Miguel? Uh, hi, Jonathan. Mike Dagger for Lucha Libre Online. Mm -hmm. So, going with that same question, uh, you know, piggyback on it, uh, I would like to know since uh, people like Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe, uh, even CM Punk uh, are part of All Elite Wrestling, and it seems like there's probably going to be some cross promotional things here and there, if I'm not mistaken, right? Could be. How do you feel about facing people like possibly a CM Punk, a Samoa Joe, or Bryan Danielson? My travels during the hiatus was, in my mind, preparing me to face two men, those men being CM Punk and Brian Danielson. I believe that honor was lost a long time ago when they decided to change this championship to other versions of this. The fingerprints of the originals is on this championship. When it's seen around the world, people clap, not for me, but for this championship, because it holds such a rich history. So to me, when honor was taken away, now that I possess this, my job is to bring honor back to this championship. And the only way to do that is to wrestle two men, the men that took the name <clears throat> best in the world away from Ring of Honor, CM Punk, the man that buried the division that I revived, the pure division, and Brian Danielson. So my job is to wrestle these two men, win or loss, to restore honor to this championship. So those are the matches that I look forward to, and I feel like my job will be done. I will have done what I needed to do for Ring of Honor. After that, my future is unclear. Thank you. One, more, one more question? Over here? Oh, sorry, Rich. 
Thank you. 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 Great match tonight, Mr. Jonathan Gresham. Congratulations on your victory. There was a lot of um, fanfare, a lot of things surrounding this event tonight. Uh, you were the main event. There's a lot of things surrounding your match. How do you kind of block out everything that's happened, the celebrating of honor, um, being involved with AEW, this show, coming to different venues? How did you just kind of block all that out to focus on being the undisputed Lincoln Water Champion and not letting the outside curriculum kind of get you off track? That's very easy. I stay off of social media. <laughs> <laughs> I delete the apps. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>